Today we're going to be looking at uh, writing GUI applications, so that's a graphic user interface, so an actual window with Python and uh, GTK. Now I used to really love GTK, recently I've gotten into QT4 and I'm liking that a lot probably maybe a little bit more than GTK, but I thought I'd start with GTK, do a few simple tutorials with that before I jump into QT4 and uh, the QT4 designer. So here we go, today we're just gonna create a simple window. So use whatever text editor you like, I'm using Vim, and I'm gonna create a Python script, I'll call it win.py. I'm gonna hit uh, I to go into edit mode, and we're gonna start off with pound exclamation point user bin and there's two ways you can type this I usually type it out like this Python uh, I've seen a lot of people type in uh, ENV for environment and say Python I think it may uh, this may be a more appropriate way of doing it I'm not 100% sure I think it, uh, this will be uh, more effective on more systems maybe people comment let me know uh, both ways work for me and you technically don't need that at the top if you start the script by writing Python and name the script but if you want the script to just run when someone clicks on it uh, you're gonna want to have something like that at the top so it's a good thing to have there anyway let's get on now we're gonna import uh, py for Python GTK and we're also gonna set this little py GTK whoop, k uh, dot require and we're gonna say 2.0 and this is just checking to make sure that not only do they have PYGTK installed but it's at least PYGTK2 um, and I also want to mention that I'm basically going through tutorials that you can find at uh, PYGTK.org uh, so I'm basically going through the tutorials they have there and just trying to explain things to you uh, and watching a video might help more than just going there and copy and pasting the code. Next we're going to import GTK and now we're going to start our you know main code here. We're going to create a class and we'll just call it base. It's just a base window here. And uh, now we're going to start in this class we have to indent. I usually hit tab but I've been told that's improper I guess by some viewers I should hit uh, space four times one two three four uh, and I think the reason for this is if you do copy and paste code or just open it in different editors different editors uh, look at tabs as different spaces so if you edit the code in one program and use tab and then go and modify it in another one and use tab it may indent differently so uh, I guess it's more proper to use four spaces and I think you can set vim up to automatically when you hit tab use four spaces but I haven't done that let me move on with this tutorial we're going to define and we got two underscores here integer self so basically we're defining this class and we're saying uh, in this function we're going to use self which is this class I'm not explaining things very well but hopefully you'll understand now we're saying with self, so basically think of it this window, we're, we're creating a window here. So right here we're, we have to have the self here, the self dot, but then this window part, you can really call that whatever you want. We're going to call it window because it is our window, but you can call it whatever you want. If you have more than one window, you can enable, label them window one, window two. And we're going to say that self window equals or is a GTK window with a capital W and inside parentheses we're going to say GTK dot and this is all capitals window underscore top level it's telling it what type of window it is because you got top level windows and you also have um, dialogues and I think there's a few others but those are the two mainly used ones we're going to say self and at this point we're going to say window again so we're saying with the object we just created with the window we just created what are we gonna do we're going to show it because even though we create it if we don't say show it will be invisible which is a good thing if you have more you know and I use tabs there after I said not to use tabs let's do one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight just so I don't get viewers yelling at me one two three four now we're going to define our main function here 
and we'll say self here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and we'll say GTK dot main. And so we're just saying to run the main GTK function here. And um, then we just say if name equals main colon there, one, two, three, four. And we're going to say base then equals base class, which is the class here. So if the name equals main, then run our class here. One, two, three, four, base dot main. So it's saying to run base, and we're going to run base dot main, which is going to create our main window here. Uh, so that should be it. We can now save this, and we can make it executable. Change mod plus x and the name of your file. And now you can say win or dot slash and the name of your file, in my case, win.py. Hit enter. And there we go. We have a basic window made. We don't have a title or anything for it, it's just a base window. And that's all we're going to go over today. Thank you for watching. This is creating GUI applications, windows with GTK and Python. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and please visit filmsbychris.com. Uh, it's Chris with a K. The link is in the description. For more video tutorials like this, visit our forum, filmsbychris.com forward slash forum, or chat with us in IRC at Freenode, Films by Chris, uh, or you can see the link in the description, which is filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC, which will give you a web-based IRC client. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.